How far is that? Ow. How far? Is it possible for any of us to make it across this? That's what we're gonna find out today. Hey everybody, welcome back to Fun Size Adventures. As always, I'm Jeff Smith and this is our family vlog. It's all about getting outside as a family. Now today we kicked off setting up our 2021 backyard obstacle course by setting up our slack line. If you wanna see step-by-step -step instructions of how to do that, I've got a video that I'll link down in the description. But for now, we are going to see, is it even possible for a beginner or a small kid to cross one of these? Now this is a 57 foot long slack line that we got off of Amazon. From what I've read, the longer the slack line, the harder it is. The benefit of this one is it came with an upper strap that normally we set it up that way. So you can hold on to the upper strap and you just kind of use it like more like a bridge to shimmy across than like a slack line. When we set it up a shorter distance, like maybe 10, 20 feet, I've been able to make it across it in the past. But I've never once made it across this. So that's what we're gonna try to figure out today. Is this even possible for a newbie? Because if you're like me, you wanted to buy a longer one because you're like, oh, I'm getting more length for my dollar. But is that necessarily a good thing? That's what we're gonna find out today. Let's get to trying. All right, Ethan's up there. Let's see if he can get anywhere. Whoa, yikes, it's not easy. I don't think I've made it past the buckle yet. Cal's gonna try a different approach, starting from the center here. <laughs> See if he can make it past the buckle even. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, 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 he made it past the buckle. That's a new record. I think the key is to look at the line down here and try to focus on a spot that you're aiming for. All right, let's see. Oh, whoa. Getting up and balanced against the tree here, I think is, is hard enough. And then it's obviously not gonna get easier. Let's see what we can do here. Yep. Oh, ah. oh, I made it a good eight feet. Only 50 more to go. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to my hand. All right. Timmy. Can you Timmy? Timmy down. You want down? Yeah? All right. Jump. Boom. You know how when people are doing like a tightrope, they have a big long stick that they hold the balance? I wonder, find, find a big stick and see if that would help. Ah. Bye-bye. I made it to the tree. Do uh, uh. you think if we start at this end, it'll be easier? I think it's worth a try. Because <laughs> that is just not working out. We made it at the longest, maybe 15, 16 feet. All right, Ethan is going full Navy SEAL. little bit of ground touches but at this point we'll count it and that's the other thing to point out is right in the center is always the hardest part because it has the most degree of Dad, wiggliness stretchiness whatever oh yeah my hands were still on. you're still going yeah it'd probably be easier to go like that i could probably do that other than i would weigh more so i would be touching the ground oh. even you're yeah you're bouncing on a stump <laughs> You won. You count it. Yep. Ethan's a little bit competitive. <laughs> ah! <laughs> My feet just get tangled up. Ah! One more try. One more try. I got this. No, you don't. I got it. No, you don't. No, I called it. I point at my face. 
That way you can see the intensity that I have. <laughs> Let's just go side. Can we go sideways? Can we? Nope. Going sideways is scarier because you're kind of blind to one side. Yeah. Give me the wizard staff. Yeah. Here we go. This is what we need. <laughs> oh, oh no! I made it to the next rock. Now you need a... Even no. with propping myself up with a no. stick, it no. still gets really wiggly in the middle. I think we proved it's impossible. We're gonna set the upper strap up to just use it as a bridge until another day. This was a great workout though. Okay, so I think the moral of the story is if you're brand new to slacklining, like we really are because we've never used it the proper way, you don't need one so long. It's gonna be better to start off with something small. It's probably less expensive and more accessible for you to get one that's shorter. Just string it up between a couple of trees that are 20 feet apart and practice on that because there's no way you're doing this. If you can do this first try, I'd like to see it. <laughs> this, is, this is breaking, it's not that warm out today, but this is making me break a sweat. But anyway guys, this is the first part of our obstacle course we're setting up for this year. There's a lot more to come. We're gonna try to stay on a schedule of every other week we're gonna have an obstacle course video and on the other weeks we're gonna have a hiking video and try to keep to that schedule that way, keep everybody served, the people that enjoy obstacle courses and the people that enjoy hiking. But until next time, go out there, yeah. build something fun in your yard and have a fun sized adventure of your own. <laughs> oh no, we're... I think there's something back there. There's something back there. Oh!